everybody, it's Chad with the FNE Collector Auto Auction. We're going to show you a super cool consignment going to be rolling across the block here in Great Bend, Kansas on Saturday, October 1st, the FNE Collector Auto Auction at no reserve. Yes, at the end of the day on Saturday, this is going home with somebody else. Now, what makes this truck so unique? A lot of things. This is, there's a lot of talk today about patina trucks, original looking yet drivable type vehicles from yesteryear. Well, that's exactly what we have here, except this is one you don't see very often. This is a patina truck Model T wearing its original patina from 1926. 96 years on this truck to get it to where it's at today. It's had some upgrades and some repairs to make it more drivable and user friendly. But other than that, the way we see it is the way she came has not been restored, just made driver more, more drivable so that it can be used, but that's about it. So let's check this thing out. Let's look at what 96 years on this old Ford and how well this 96 years has weathered on this old Ford. We look at these fenders, the paint's thin, it's worn. It's part of its character. This is a Model TT, one ton truck. So it was used, these trucks were built to be used, they were bought to be used, they were put on the farm, they were used, abused, beat, and typically thrown away. This one has been preserved, which is so amazing. There's just so many cool features to check out. We can start off right here also with the tires. Obviously, it's got some more modern tires on it to make this thing more drivable. Let's take a peek under this patinaed hood while we're here. Look, it's got some dings and some dents and a little surface rust because it's original. But what else has been done to this? It's got the 12 volt conversion on it. It's had some new wiring. It's got new plugs, new wires. The things that this truck is going to need where you can get in it and take it in a parade and go out and enjoy it. But that's all that's been done to it. That's what's so cool. So we'll start working our way around this thing and getting a better look at it. The cab, if the paint's weathered, it's worn, it's chipped, it's scratched, because that's the way, it's the way the trucks, what happened to these trucks, they got used. Inside, kind of the same thing. The seat has been redone, there again, to make it a little more user friendly, and had an extra gauge added. But other than that, we look at the floor pans, we look at the door jams. It's just the way it was in the 20s. Another interesting feature about this truck, it does have an auxiliary transmission right here, which is there again, make it a little more driver friendly. Even still has the Ford Motor Company Detroit, Michigan, USA tag up under the firewall. Never been taken off. Doors even still fit. Like I said, this is a bigger truck, this is a farm truck. The fact that this thing has survived to this point is amazing because of what these trucks went through. Look at this wooden bed, this old weathered paint on it. There again, these were workhorses. The fact this truck survived is amazing. It's a local truck, it's been in central Kansas for decades. I love these about some of these old trucks. This is a factory Ford bed. Ford truck says it right on the back, still has the factory bed with it. And I'm betting if we peek inside here, this is all factory wood. We can see how it's been used, it's been abused, it's been scuffed, scratched, dinged, dented. We can see the bedsides up in there, same thing. Because these were work trucks, they didn't survive. Miraculously, this one has. We can see all the little handles, all the little levers, all the little brackets on this wooden bed still here. We can kind of take, take a step back and take a peek underneath this thing. And like I said, other than some electrical upgrades for lights and things like that to make this thing safe to drive, it's all 1926. Has these little Ford short step running boards, still has the Ford stamped in them. Actually still says made in the USA right underneath the Ford. Take a peek inside over here, kind of the same thing. With the, with the exception of a few minor safety upgrades and a seat, it's all 1926. It still closes pretty good. <laughs> Up front on this side, kind of the same thing. These fenders, they're worn, they're scuffed, the paint's worn. But at this age, it's amazing that it survived to this point. The front of this truck, it's not beat up, it's not destroyed. There again, turn signals have been added so that it can be driven. Still has the Ford USA radiator shell on it. The Ford script headlights are still in it. Just an amazing piece of history. These, as like everybody says, they're original once, one time. Once they've been taken apart, once they've been restored, they're not original anymore. This truck is literally a glimpse back into the 20s. The only thing that have been changed is a few minor things to make it drivable in today's world, legal and a little more driver friendly. And that's what makes this thing so cool. 
So like I said, this thing is rolling across the block on Saturday, October 1st here in Great Bend, Kansas at the f and Collector Auto Auction at no reserve. At the end of the day on Saturday, this super cool, one of a kind, Patina 1926 Model TT truck is gonna have a new owner. Awesome look, awesome story, and the upgrades that you need to have done on a truck like this to be able to enjoy it in today's world have already been done. Super cool piece. We definitely hope to see you there on Saturday, October 1st. If you can't join us here in Great Bend, Kansas, be sure to check this truck out on ProxyBid. Online bidding is available through ProxyBid. This thing's gonna be rolling across the block and it's gonna be going home with somebody else. We hope to see you here Saturday, October 1st. Thanks for watching everybody, stay tuned. We got a lot of cool consignments that are gonna be coming up. We're gonna bring you a lot more footage on. Hope to see you Saturday, October 1st.